we're gonna assemble our birthday gift card, the birthday cake gift card. And in the package, you get three different cakes and one of them is yellow. One of them is the teal and color and one of them is pink. So you've got three different options on um, what you're making when you purchase these ones. So let's just start with the assembly of this one. You're gonna open this up and wherever there's a perforation, you're going to bend it, okay? And this one's a little bit different because it has like a locking way of keeping the gift card in. So when you assemble this one, you have to make sure you're paying attention because this is gonna fold down so that it stops your gift card from coming all the way out, all right? So from this point, once you fold these, you wanna set that in there and keep it there. And then on this, you're not gonna glue these flaps down. You're gonna glue this on top here, all right? So that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put adhesive on the top of these long flaps and just push that down. And we're gonna do take care of that in a second. So then put adhesive on the other one and push it down. And then see this locks right in, it slides. That's kind of cool. And then we're gonna take and let's put adhesive on this last one. So note to self too, before I forget to tell you and you put this thing all together and make yourself crazy, you need to um, do one of two things. You can either leave the bottom open so that you can slide this in here, but I don't really wanna do that because it can fall out, okay? So what I wanna do is seal up the bottom too. And in order to do that, well, guess what? I need to have my gift card in. If you don't have your gift card in, it might be pretty hard to put it in with your cake. So go ahead and slide your gift card in that you're giving and set it in there. And then the next thing we're gonna do is seal this all up. So we're gonna seal the bottom. We're gonna put adhesive along this flap and then we're going to close it. Make sure it lines up perfectly before you start pushing it down. There we go. All right, so then that is our cake part. And I guess you don't have to have the gift card in there. I was afraid that you did. So it comes out pretty far, so that's nice. So you can assemble these. Okay, so now that you have that, that's your three layer cake. And we're gonna go back and start doing some of the other pieces for this one. I didn't really ink this one. You can, you don't have to, but I did doodle on it. So we're gonna put the other stuff on. We've got our frosting layers that we're gonna glue down. And then this is gonna go on top of here just to give it some dimension and I'm gonna pop that it. So I wanna do my noodling before I put that on. Just on this piece, that's the only one I'm really worried about doodling before I pop that. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use my Zig Writer. I'm gonna line the frosting. I just like making the little half circles. Doesn't have to connect. Go back with that other fat side. Perfect. And then I can pop dot this one on and keep assembling. And 
And then inside your package too, we're gonna decorate each one of these cakes. And the yellow cake, we did dots. The blue cake, we did um, yellow stripes. And the pink cake, the pink cake, we just did, um, did that plain with some leftover gems. So you'll see a picture of those in a second. So then I'm just gonna put on some of the random dots that I've got. Almost like they're kind of floating up the side of the cake on that. And you could use gems or anything else. And then you can go back and glitter glue all of these. If you're gonna take the time to make something like this, you might as well go all the way and do the doodling and the glitter glue. Okay, that's perfect, cute. So then let's just doodle the rest of it and then you're gonna be all set. And you can put your gift card back in there and you can get them all assembled and just make sure you don't glue anything down so that it moves back and forth like that. Nice long line for the frosting and then little half circles. And you can ink this one if you want, but I, I'm not partial either way on it, and I really love to ink everything, you guys know that. But I hate when the frosting looks a little dirty, so I was kind of on the fence about the whole thing about inking it, so I chose not to on this demo one. I might have on the original one that's at the store hanging. All right, fat dots. Yeah, I was waiting for Kathy to do these demos because she's the one that helped me design them. And with the virus, I haven't seen her in a long time. Okay, there we go. And that is it. Add the glitter glue to it, add some gems if you have some leftovers, and what a fun way to give a birthday gift card.